Hello everybody, welcome back. Sport Federation TV. We talk sport in the Western Cape, across the province and of course the various districts and of course as you know, number of sports um, structured within the SASCOC structures and our athletes competing across the province, across the country, uh, into the continent and of course internationally as well. And of course, uh, as you know, well it's school holidays at the moment so everybody's having a interprovincial or a, a national championship somewhere. You'll remember it was two weeks ago that we spoke to Hein de Swart, the chairperson of uh, Cape Town Hunting Rifle Association, and tonight we've got uh, um, Hein and Renette Skerkogel back in studio, or first time in studio with us from Hunting Rifle Shooting. Let's start off with you, Renette. Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a, it's a definitely our first time with you. Last yes. time we had Hein online. Um, yeah, just tell us how are you involved with uh, hunting rifle shooting? Okay, my involvement currently is I'm the vice chairperson for the Cape Town district in the SA Hunting Rifle Shooting Association. And I also assist when we have some junior clinics, um, women's development clinics, and I'm also fortunate to be part of the Western or the Cape Town ladies team, as well as recently having been selected as part of the national team to represent South Africa at an international match. All right, then you got your hands full with that. Hein, welcome. Thanks, <laughs> now, now we say welcome. Last time was, of course, online. Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much for having us yeah. back here. I'm, I'm very privileged to be here. So last time we spoke, it was you were giving us a whole rundown and explanation of how hunting rifle works, the distances you're shooting at. Um, you've got a little... Uh, you're going to have to refresh my memory because I think not only me, but also a lot of folks are watching for the first time. Um, the hunting rifle activity. It's mm. obviously you're using a rifle, a hunting rifle. Yes. Uh, but just run us through it again. So SA hunting rifle is a very um, unique sport in shooting specifically. So we uh, don't give out the distances. The distances is unknown. Distances are typically 150 meters or 100 meters up to 350, 370 meters. You're not allowed any wind meters. Uh, yeah. You're not allowed any range finders. It's just you and your rifle. And uh, we've got six uh, stages. Um, three or two is typically gong st stages, and the rest is paper targets, which, which uh, you know, is animals that you would typically encounter in a hunting condition. So we try and, and simulate hunting environment uh, when, when shooting. All right, so Renette, let me go to you. Um, how did you get started in, in hunting rifle uh, shooting? When, when was the first time you picked up a rifle? Uh, okay, first time I picked up a rifle was many, many years ago when I was still young. Um, learning to shoot with a little pellet gun and so forth. I think that's where most of us start. And then at school level, uh, doing a bit of point two two shooting and things. But then um, later on, yes, did a bit of uh, shooting and going to farms, hunting a bit, but always having to borrow a gun. And then yeah. thereafter decided to get my own rifle, um, just to be more accurate and things like that. Went and signed up at um, one of the local clubs, joined them. And then, yeah, the, the bug just bit from there. I actually just wanted to get to know my rifle so that I can place a good shot in the field when going hunting. And bug bit me, and here I am today. So do you actually go, are you, in addition to competing in a hunting rifle space, do you actually go hunting yourself? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah. all right. And Hein, we didn't get a chance to ask you this last time, I think, but how did you get started in hunting rifle shooting? Was it, was it, uh, is it not the case that it's hunting rifle, uh, that, that this sports code is very much because uh, maybe someone in the family does it or a friend? I think so. As well. I mean, it, it's, it's a very good point you make, but for me specifically, I mean, I'm, I've always loved the wildlife and right. nature, you know. So I um, coincidentally came across SA Hunting Rifle. Uh, I st shot my first match was actually a, um, a Western Cape Open yeah. in Montague in 2017. So prior to that, I wasn't really competing in competitions and stuff like that, just doing, doing your normal hunting and shooting with a friend on a farm. But uh, w w going to that first competition in 2017, as Renate indicated earlier, you know, there's just something that hooks you in that specific competition. So listen, I didn't shoot a good score, but I really want to actually better myself. So yeah. that's something that, that we find a lot of times is that people, once they, they visit or participate in one of the shooting competitions, they they find something that resonates with themselves, and they just want to want to go full full blast ahead and, and reach district level, and then maybe even their Pratia colours. So yeah. So Renee, talk us a little bit about the actual competition structure. Like uh, obviously now, when I started hunting rifle, and you're you're out there, you're in the weekend, and you you one is uh, doing it either socially, I suppose, a little bit or competitive. How does the competition structure work? Hein was mentioning earlier on that you have to be on a log. 
Um, how do you compete? That's correct, yes. Um, well, what we normally start with is with uh, the more, uh, can I call it, easier competitions where the distances are known and you allow certain things that's just a little bit easier, distances are a bit closer, you practice with that, you compete at uh, competitions with that, and then once you reach a certain level and you just want to step up your game, that's where you come and you join as a hunting rifle, and um, yeah, then we take you that one step further, and we are one of the few associations where you can actually attain your pro tier colors. And so, so how would one typically um, uh, prepare? How would you typically train? Because I mean, if you think about other sports codes, maybe they practice on a Tuesday evening and a Thursday evening from six o'clock to eight o'clock, and then they, you know, finish shower, go home. How, how does it work for for hunting rifle? Okay, it's normally on weekends. Um, uh, if you're fortunate enough, you can do it in the week. If you're uh, working for yourself or you're a farmer or something, you can do it basically any time. Right. Because it's an individual sport, it's very flexible. So it's up to you as an individual, but you don't always have to go out to a range or to a farm and do actual live firing with your firearm. You can also do what we call dry firing, yeah. uh, so where you have a snap cap in your weapon and um, you just go through the motions and you exercise that, uh, you build up your uh, muscle memory. Right, Especially right. with going through the motions with some of the positions that we utilize for, for uh, shooting, especially free hand standing and things like that, just to, oh, right, to okay. get your body attained. So you're not only doing this lying on the ground, uh, you, no. you're standing up as well? Yes. Yeah, okay. absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, if you go into um, a hunting environment out into the field, the felt, yeah. uh, you don't have the luxury of always lying down. So, you know, we in comp competitions, you shoot over rocks, over trees, stuff like that. Um, so we encourage people to, as Renate indicated earlier, to practice at home. You know, if you and, and a lot of guys living in, um, you know, cities and stuff like that don't have regular access to shooting. Yeah, range. Yeah. So, you know, use your shooting sticks, use your... Uh, Practice kneeling freehand, standing freehand, lying down, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and that way you will get more and more used to doing that in competition yeah, environments yeah. as well. Renette, when is your next big competition? Hein has, of course, told us that I think uh, you've got an event coming up in Namibia. Is that right? That is correct. Um, we will be travelling to Namibia. I, uh, memory serves correct. It's from the fourth to the eighth of October. Yeah. Um, we South Africa will be competing against Namibia at an international match, and we are. Very will you be shooting in there? Yes, I will be shooting. Yeah, yeah. What, yes. what do you? What does that mean for you guys? How big is the team? How do you? How, how do you get selected for the team? Um, how many days of shooting will you have to do? Okay. Normally, what happens is once you start shooting, you first have to get onto a log. So you have to shoot a minimum of three um, inter-district competitions in order to get onto the log, yeah. because the log takes your uh, your best average uh, three uh, average best scores. And then it calculates and you get ranked according to that. Okay. Then the following year at the nationals, you'll get an invitation. If you in the ladies, it, uh, it's the top 20 or top 30. And with the men, the top 50, top 60. You'll get an invite then to go to the top shot competition, which um, adds to your score to be selected or to be potentially selected as a, a pro tier shotist, where you then they often participate also in the SA National Open. And then after that, they put all the scores together, and if you're lucky enough, you make the team. And the team consists of six members plus one reserve member. How are we doing, Hein, from a development perspective? Um, people joining up with the sport, um, obviously going overseas, going to Namibia to, to compete there. Are we getting athletes from Western Cape into the national team? Definitely, JP. I think that's, as I mentioned uh, at a previous chat, yeah, uh, yeah. it's something that's very really dear to our heart is development. You know, junior development specifically, because I think that is th th those guys are the future. You know, we probably have another 20 odd years, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> left, and then, you know, it's done for us. Yeah. But um, we're trying to focus on junior development. We're engaging with schools uh, local yeah. uh, in Eden, in, in the Western Cape. Um, and uh, Boland Lanpo, uh, those kind of schools where guys have... Central Karoo needs a bit of help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we, we try and in, engage with the schools and then, and then invite them to, to clinics and then bring them into, into the fold. So uh, we're very passionate about that. Fantastic stuff, Renette. Great stuff. We're looking forward to having you guys back in the studio. Lots of pictures and videos. So uh, Thank thanks you. for joining us. Thank you very much thanks for having so us. Thanks so much. Thanks, Jamie. There we go, folks. Uh, Hunting rifle shooting, flying the flag in the Western Cape and Cape Town. Uh, get signed up. It sounds like it's uh, exciting and interesting, and we're looking forward to big things. We'll take a break. When we come back, we carry on talking about sport in the province. Don't go away.